are just getting word of a confirmation that there were high-level secret talks between the United States and uh, Iranian officials back earlier this fall and that Benjamin Netanyahu was brought into the White House by the president to discuss the nature of those of those talks. So Fox has just confirmed that report on secret talks with the Iranians. We're going to get more details on what went on in those talks and what the reaction was of the Israeli leader uh, as we head throughout the rest of this day. But just wanted to bring that to you. And in the meantime, the wife of a jailed U.S. pastor in Iran is now speaking out, and she is not happy, as you might imagine. After this nuclear deal, uh, she says that there has been absolutely no mention of her husband's imprisonment as part of this arrangement. Saeed Abedini is serving an eight-year sentence in the most brutal Iranian prison, prison because of his Christian beliefs. Now, his wife, Nagme, who's been a guest on this show many times, says she believes that the Obama administration betrayed her family. Here's what she said. It was... Uh really hard blow. It was very disheartening and discouraging um, to realize it's uh, fighting for an American citizen who's wrongfully imprisoned in Iran and uh, whose uh, religious freedom is being violated is no longer a priority to discuss um, by our government. Wow. Jay Sekulow has been fighting to free Pastor Abedini, and he is the chief counsel at the American Center for Law and Justice. This must be very frustrating development for you. It really is, Martha. When we got word that this was in process, we've been in discussions with the State Department, as you know, because yes. of the great coverage you all have done. Uh, finally, the president spoke out. The president brought up Saeed Abedini in the conversation with the president of Iran. Uh, and we've been in conversations with the State Department for months. And the fact of the matter is we had an incredible opportunity uh, that was historic. You had the president of the United States talking with the president of Iran. We had the P5 plus one going on in Geneva. What a confidence building measure it would have been if as part of the precondition to any relief of the sanctions against the Iranian regime, that in fact they would release not only Saeed Abedini, but the other two Americans that are being held by the Islamic Republic of Iran. The White House, and I, I hold the president responsible for this, I think what he did was despicable, by not having that as a precondition of release is outrageous. Yeah, and those Jay, have said, well, we were trying to focus. Yeah, yeah I, I, I hear you. But, but why is the question? Because it, it seems in a way that it would have been, you know, a, a gimme to put this in here. It would have made the president yeah. look very good. Um, it would have been, you know, yep. so, so there has to be a why. Do you think it was discussed and Iran said no because we believe this, this and this? I mean, what, what do you think happened behind closed doors? You know, taking the State Department at their word for it that there were some discussions prior to the uh, P5 plus one conference that just took place, uh, my sense of what happened is, is there's a power struggle maybe inside of Iran. But the fact of the matter is, and Martha, this is the key, we just reduced and agreed to reduce our sanctions and provide humanitarian aid to the Iranian Republic. And their humanitarian response is to transfer Saeed Abedini from the Evan prison, which is awful, to a prison that's even worse. And we have, there is no, I can't give you a reason why this happened, other than it was not a priority of the administration to secure the release of an American Understood. citizen held captive by the people we were across the table negotiating with. Martha, there is no excuse. He's not a high-profile political target. This was nothing short of a dereliction of duty. And I have a piece up at foxnews.com right now, and I think the president's responsible for this. He could have made that condition. It should have been, a, 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 as you said, a gimme. And Saeed Abedini should have been standing next to John Kerry on Saturday It would have been a great evening, moment. Sunday I mean, it would have been a very clear down. visual expression of what we got uh, in this deal. Right. What, has the State Department responded to you about why not? Uh, no, they've said that uh, they'll get back to us uh, the, later today. Uh, when we may hear from them later today, and I expect there's going to be nothing but, you know, we were concentrated. They issued an official statement, the, the NSC, saying that the conversation did not take place with Pastor Saeed Abedini or the other Americans, that it was strictly focused on the nuclear uh, disengagement of Iran. But, you know, Martha, these are negotiations. This is worse than Jimmy Carter's moves. I mean, here you have a situation where this, as you've said it correctly, was an easy move for the Iranians to give a confidence-building measure and release this pastor and then talk about negotiations and reduction of sanctions. We've given up the chips we had on the table. What brought the Iranians there? It was the sanctions. Now we're and easing imagine, them up. So what's yeah, their impetus no, now I, I you, to Jay, let this pastor and, and go? And imagine yeah. what we, you and I would be doing today. We'd be, you know, planning oh. to, to 
discuss, you know, this incredible moment that happened, that he was brought home, that something good came yep. of this whole thing. And we'd be looking forward to speaking with him on, on the program as well uh, and hearing his side of the story. Instead, so his family has hard, another Christmas imagine. with no father, probably. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, and his so, parents, their kids have no another Christmas this time again with no Pastor Sai and their father not there. I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks, Jay. Martha. Thank you very much.